Jolly Pumpkin, and there's Third Man Records, and there's Filson's, and then Shinola is at the end. Yep. And we're going to go, probably work our way back, so I'll get you, we're going to get a tour of the Filson plant, and maybe a Great. tour of Filson's, maybe a tour of the Turtle plant. Have they actually set up the presses already? Plant and with a real boiler in the whole deal. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's fantastic. They did it. Yeah. The new machines too. The ones from Germany. Yeah. Excellent. It's amazing. I mean, it's yeah. big, uh, big, big balls. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So this is the Shinola store. And here is their turntable. Very beautiful. <laughs> yeah, two bucks at the door, no one's announced. <laughs> Look at here, they're building turntables in Detroit. How fantastic is this? Don't worry. I like that name. All right. Everybody say hi. Hi! Hi! So, here's that press tour I was talking about. Look alive! <laughs> Look busy, guys. <laughs> so, what press are you guys from? This is Michael from Steve. Hi, Steve. Hey. He's our factory manager. Hey, Steve. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. He was with me at Odyssey from the start. And with Analog Planet. <coughs> nice. It's pleasure to meet you. Same here. Thanks. And then I don't all of the development on this is pretty much done in Los Angeles and in New Jersey with DPI. So I have a team in Los Angeles where we have an R&D facility where we did all the electronics of this and pretty much everything under the hood except for, you know, Getting uh, VPI's expertise on the, the really hard stuff, like the tone arm, um, the the motor and the pulley, all of that. So we'll go through the, the process, um, but this is kind of where it starts. And Larry, maybe you could tell them what you're doing. Right now, I'm putting some Loctite into the holes. I'm going to mount the, the skirt to the platter. And once I do that, I'm going to pass it to Amari. He's going to start simming the hardware. So we'll, we'll keep coming down. Yeah, were well you a turntable guy before this started? Yes, I'm doing before, a turntable. Just... But I mean, before this whole business started, were you, did you have a turntable oh, in, absolutely. The, in the day? Yes. And did you ever think this was going to come back like this? I really didn't. I really <laughs> didn't. I knew it would. Okay. But when I, when I saw it, I got so excited. Yeah. Larry's got an amazing history. I, I was learning of, something every day. Oh, I was probably the most excited person in this whole group. <laughs> <laughs> That's just something I grew up with. Yeah, me but too. But you're, all, you're also up. some of the cream of the crop from leather and... Yes. Yep, he comes from our leather factory. Leather. So I did the logo in Boston. When we were so recruiting... You're dual threat. Leather and turntables. Yes. And there's leather in the turntable, so that works out really Exactly. Good. Yeah. Exactly. It's one of the first things we came actually we got three three guys from the leather shop so we got lucky with our team yeah we really uh steve and i went to the other factory managers and said we need we're going to need some of your best dudes and we got them some of them <laughs> <laughs> i'm one of them <laughs> yes you are Larry. nice to meet you nice to meet you omar you wouldn't give him a little insight on what you're doing here uh, so what i'm doing i'm basically just pretty some of the wiring which is the motor uh platter this is called again? DC rectifier. Yeah. DC rectifier. Um, then after I finish installing these three, all I do is pass it over to Clint. Um, normally I would install the skirt, but Larry helped me out today. And that's it once I finish installing. It's the so first motor too. It's yep, good it's motor. a US yep. motor. So, uh, we take pride in what the, the efforts that we took. I mean, we took some serious, <laughs> serious. This motor is $35. Right, you could get this motor for four dollars, but it's a U.S. motor, so we really did everything we could to make it in the U.S. Um, like I said, uh, aluminum is comes from the U.S. It's machined in New Jersey. Everything except for some of the components in the electronics and the decorative pieces. So the decorative pieces come from the same company that our watch our watch cases come from, which is an amazing company. I uh, take a lot of pride to even. Uh, Hong Kong. Yep, just in the company's amazing. They should be singing their praises. <laughs> um, 
So you can see we're kind of sub-assemblies. Um, everything is, we're st and we're still refining the process. This is gonna be, I'm thrilled with how many we've been able to pump out. I think we're up to 100 so far. 92 is the last check. So today we'll probably hit 100 turntables. In how many a week and a half, two weeks? Count the weekends, yeah. So this is really the beginning of the whole pro oh turntable manufacturing process. They haven't had a day off in two weeks. Because we're trying to hit the, we have wholesale orders that have already come through. We're yeah. trying to outfit our stores, and ecom is actually yeah. doing pretty so well. So you're, you're looking to meet wholesale orders, and not just build to build. You actually have. We had to get the wholesale orders out because Black Friday and the holidays. Yeah. So, yeah. so Magnolia got theirs. Um, Neiman Marcus will get theirs, and then just ca catching up, basically. This is this the whole Black Friday. Right here? This is it. Okay. So it's How many a lot. Are you expecting to roll out of here each year? Um, for this year, at least 1,500. And okay. we started a, literally a, less than two weeks ago. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, been working on this for over a year. Um, this is a very special phono pre that we designed from the ground up, um, which is somewhat unique because it's modular. So this actually slides out of the turntable, and we plan to offer different uh, amps and also feature sets, like potentially wireless or encoders or... Oh, that's fantastic. What a great idea that is. Yeah, and really the idea came from serviceability. Didn't want to have to ship it. Ship. Hey, you hold that up? Sure. Didn't want to ship uh, a whole turntable back. So if something went with, wrong with the electronics, we would just say, just remove the electronics and we're good. Um, because everything else is pretty much mechanical, unless you, unless you really drop the turntable. Um, the only things that will go wrong is some of these components. I mean, we'd, I would have loved to make it all modular, but... Oh, I'm sorry. Um, did what we could, and this this actually acts for me as a potential open source platform. Um, people like Rupert Neve are working on one for us right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Rob, do you want to tell them what you're doing? I am. This is Rob. The final final assembly. I guess you call it. Yep. So this is right the stage right before we go to QC. Um, can kind of show them what you do here. And you guys can get a sense of kind of what we're just a little bit. Oh, God. <laughs> right? What's the way? Um, the whole turntable is about 50 pounds. Oh, that's good. Mass, Mass is good. And yes. stamped on the bottom. Yep. A little MDF. Nice. Thank you, Rob. Mm -hmm. And so by decorative pieces, uh, this bezel, while you only see a shadow of it, uh, was a big deal for us. This this adds a lot of depth to the design. So this, 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 and what else? Uh, head shell handle. Yeah, I'm doing all the tone arm adjustments. coming from our partners in Hong Kong. So all the very beautiful stuff. Um, the rest of it is, is done here. It's all very beautiful. Yeah, it's so pretty much. It's a sharp looking turntable. Is it going to come in other colors besides black and light? Yep, it does. Uh, we did a limited edition for Magnolia. Um, and next year we have at least two colorways and then another turntable coming. Um, as you can see, it's a VPI tone arm. You can definitely see the yep. resemblance there. Yep. Um, but right? it's, it's stylized. I mean, it's yeah. beautifully stylized. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know VPI. Yeah. Um, now, who does the final overhang setting? Um, so we're do it, we're calibrating everything, and then he goes. It goes to QC, so it should be good to work out of the box, depending on how rough the shipping was. And how do you set the overhang? How, how are you determining that, do you know? Um, I don't. Uh, the alignment of the, the overhang? The cartridge? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. so we, we, we utilize so an alignment. Yeah, yeah we, have we have a setup. fuzzometer. We yeah, have okay, a for the, bunch for the, of... And then this, uh, this, yeah, yeah. this lines up with the base of the tone right. arm, and then the That's pin the, right. of the platter. Sorry, correct, you know yeah. Very overhang. critical to the whole thing. Exactly. It's gotta be exactly yeah, correct. Yeah. So. He's getting it kind of right, and then it'll go through the... the right. Yeah, I get it kind of right. to a... As we go through, we'll have jigs created sure for all this stuff. I, right. bet you, I bet you could teach us a lot of stuff. <laughs> Does everybody know who Michael is? <laughs> like, he's the turntable <laughs> expert, like... <laughs> Well known. Well, what do you think? Yeah, what do you think? What are, how, are we? What are we doing? <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. And I'm glad you're starting with an order fund blue as opposed to the red because it's a much much better cartridge. Right. So, yeah. So this we're sound, we're making our own cartridge, and uh, you are. Yeah. <gasps> That's. So it uh, was supposed to launch with our cartridge, but I'm not happy with it just yet. So 
production will probably start December 12th. And where are you, where are you making your own cartridge? We are developing in LA. So I have a team in Los Angeles. Wow. We've done it from the ground up as well. So it's Moving magnet? Yep. Uh, moving coil. Moving coil. Yep. It's, a, it's not easy. No, that's... We did final assembly here. Yeah. yeah. So, really? Yeah. As that's... well as the speakers out there we developed in Los Angeles from the ground up, literally. From the ground up. Uh, that um, stuff transduces it, or your thing? Um, the transducer, so the tweeter we designed, the woofer is a US uh, woofer from Misco, one of the last speaker companies in the US. Right. Uh, tweeter is coming from twi Taiwan, but it's a beautiful. I the mean, hard part is making the things work together. That's correct. the hard part. That's hard the part. art. The hard part yeah. is fitting all that stuff in one box because they're powered. Yeah. So they're active. Oh. You'll be, I'm sure, we'll, wow. we'll definitely want your opinion. Wow. Um, but a cartridge, that's really, really ambitious. Yeah, a little too ambitious, And to I've be seen the, the women who designed, build those, some of those cartridges, and they have to lock them up in a pad and sell them. Are you ready for that? So pad and sell? Our, <laughs> our <laughs> tiny, tiny They're already in a pad and sell, my <laughs> Who, me? Oh. Insane. So we have Steve G here, going through his checklist. Oh, Steve. Maybe you could tell us what you're about to do. Uh, I'm about argue. to do the audio test. Awesome. Want to pick a record? Um, sure. Very beautiful. Give it a little uh, blow on the compressed air real quick. You got one of those yet? Uh, no, <laughs> not next to my style. Like, be very careful with that compressed air around the stylus. These will run for about 12 um, to 18 hours. These have already been burned in, so they do go through a burn-in process just so we can make sure all the parts are gelling and there's not any <coughs> any pulley noise, whatnot. And just make sure the electronics don't fry. Um, so, what are dealing with here? Try just one hand. Yeah, it's light. Yeah. It's in, you gotta feel it, because it's yeah, kind of, it's good. It's half, right? That's just now? that top plate. Mm -hmm. um, and we have final packaging over here, which then gets palleted up and sent to our DC. Um, so packaging, we're still refining. I'm still not very, I'm not completely 100% happy with it. But one day at a time. It's, this is actually, this was like a storm that hit back here a few days ago. I'm, I'm impressed with how it looks right now. You know, it's like with mechanical things, people don't understand how much work goes into designing a package that can withstand the kind of drop thing. And that, that weight? Yeah. Without messing up the tone arm that's yeah. calibrated already, so it's easier for the customer to use? Yes, that's difficult. Yeah. So do you... And this is the package? Yeah, oh, that is the package, and then it gets... Uh, there's two boxes that it comes with. So initially, our goal is to put it all in this package, then we got the reality check of, oh, okay, we've got to separate this thing out. You put it in there, right? And yeah, that's the shipper, but we're still, still refining it. Do you do a do you do a drop ship test like you oh, drop? Oh yeah. we put it through. Oh, I mean we've broken mm -hmm. a few of them. So what do we got? St. Vincent. Another great record. Not a great sounding record, but great. Iggy Pop yes. and Andrew Bird. That's an interesting choice. Just want to ask a question. Who really cares? Save the world in despair.